All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Sir Splash, and today we have a debate. Uh, Skinny Santa's back on the channel, if you want to say what's up. Yeah, what's up, guys? So he will be repping Gwynpool, which apparently he has the best uh, high wank scaling for her in my server. I I haven't seen it yet, so we'll see. we're about to see it. And then I'm using a fucking whale from um, Skyrim. So let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> right. You want to go first? You want to go and I'm oh, scared. Shit. You guys debating. One second. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, by the way, we don't have a recording of it, but apparently Kratos just debated Kratos on Kratos. So. Yeah. I yeah I just, Good job, Kratos. I just fucked up Kratos. He got bodied. I took his uh, virginity because this was like his first Discord Whoa. debate. Uh, yeah. Kratos versus Kratos is always a good Kratos debate. But all right. Yeah. So, Kratos, this matchup, just so you can, since you're going to listen in, is um, a whale, a snow whale from Elder Scroll versus Gwynpool. So, from Marvel. So, oh, fuck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you want to start off or you want me to? You know what, man? You can go first. I want to see what this whale can do. All right. So, um, basically, my premise for why the snow whale stomps is he is simply going to blitz um, and he can either hit her with his snow or just hit her in general. And she's probably not going to tank that shit. Um, so it's going to be a one shot either way, or she'll just laugh for eternity and not be able to do anything. So, uh, okay. you can go ahead and state your premise. Okay. My premise being, uh, Gwenpool can exist on a higher, uh, level of existence than this guy. And she would simply go beyond the guy's story and tear his story apart. All right. So, um, I guess I will, do you, do you want to provide your evidence for why? Um, your character is on a higher level. I'd love to. So, by the way, the snow thing wears off. I read this stupid story when he tried using it in that uh, demonic realm or whatever. The guards, when he hit him with it, they eventually wore off. And it even stated, uh, uh, he threatened the guy by saying, "If you don't do as we say, we'll leave, and we provide happiness." So it's not an eternal snow thing, but did my homework in that car so here's <laughs> so Wimple for many who don't know a lot of people say Oblivion's top tier Marvel I disagree uh, fully so she's capable of existing outside of the literal comic book and plot itself transcending both uh, here's a direct statement from her which um, basically summarizes so she's talking to this guy let me find it talking to this guy and uh she basically tells him, uh, I, I view you guys as like 2D beings. Here, here, this is an even better one. So this one, god dang it, my scans are all over the place. Here. I like this one. So she, as you can see, she's able to, there's her again transcending the comic. Evidence of her being able to tear it apart, since I know that's what you want. Here's this. Darn it. There we go. This. She's not tearing reality. She's tearing the literal comic book. And here's a, one of my favorite statements of all. So, Gwenpool has the ability to basically interact with and bring in other Gwenpools from other panels, comics, etc., right? So this is mm -hmm. an older Gwenpool. This is Gwenpool from like, before her story ended, right? And she says, so someone is writing this, someone is controlling this. She says, not quite, Gwen. You were supposed to be a joke, sell some laughs and be forgotten. Blah, 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 blah. But you kept having a life of your own. You're in more control than you realize. So what I'm saying is she's going to, like, go outside of, like, the reality of which this whale exists and, and tear him up. False. But I'll get into that in a second. All right. Hit me. Elder All right. Scrolls. So here is, I'll go ahead and post a map kind of of the layout of Elder Scrolls. Um, so Nairn is where Tamriel and all of the lands are located. Um, and then that's actually still out of Versal, technically, even though wow. it's, you know, where, because wow. Nairn is, I'll get you this statement. Nairn right. is stated to be equal to, okay, it's stated to be equal to the Heart of Lorcan. The Horde of Lorcan was unable to be broken by um, Oriel, who is Akatosh and other religions. Um, and it actually laughed at Oriel even trying to do it. 
And Oriel uh, transcends even realms where platonic concepts exist. In fact, just him like existing helped lead to the creation of the realm of platonic concepts. So if you want to keep it simple, like the God Sphere in DC, um, yeah. that's like where he takes a shit, literally. And um, he he was actually imbued with weapons to defeat the Heart of Lorcan, and he couldn't. And the Heart of Lorcan said. Uh, this is like equal to where the heart of the world the, this is a, a heart of the world and so they had to just BFR it and hope like man didn't find it and realize their true potential so like even those beings within the realm of man are out of reversal which is obvious throughout the stories but um, so you have that you have Mundus outside of Nairn which is like a reflection of the reflection of the reflection of the one who embodies all things which is Anu and this realm, um, by the way, for people watching, I'm going to do Elder Scroll videos eventually. I just, it's a lot of lore. I want to make sure I have the scaling right. Anyways, so this is the reflection of the reflection of the reflection, like it's several layers. Um, and it transcends Nairn, and it is um, then transcended. And Mundus basically, it's platonic concepts, and it's considered absolutely fodder to those above it. Um, like I said, they transcend and beings like in there are ones that created the earth bones, which is the platonic concept of truth. Um, so that's then transcended and you get to realms like oblivion and the other Daedric princes planes, which is where the whale got to. So basically the story of the whale, he got sick of this shit. Um, the place was corrupted because a Daedric prince was fucking around with Alduin, and it ended up uh, messing up this anomaly. And so the bull whale, snow whale, and the bird dove straight through. Path they had to go through Mundus, so they're already at a relevant speed. But they had to tra like they had to go outside of all dimensions, all concepts of dimensions, to the realm of platonic concepts. But they easily passed through that. Um, it wasn't even hard for them. It was really fast. And then they arrived at Molag Ball's uh, realm, which is outside of even Mundus. Yeah, and, he said it was off the map or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's that, like, like I so, said, you okay. have to read other sources to understand what exactly that entails. But um, Mundus... But wait, if it's off it, the map, even, then how do we know it's out reversal? Because Mundus is stated to be the realm of platonic concepts. Okay, which is where they're going? No, they, they pass through that realm, that outer okay. virtual realm. Okay. Oblivion, Oblivion, because Oriel, who exists outside of Mundus, helped create Mundus, um, which I can give you. Okay, I'm just trying to follow all this, because holy crap. No, yeah, yeah, like I said, it is a lot. Um, this... And this is directly from a source within the lore. There you go. So or Oriel's presence uh, bled through and led to the creation of time. So like it is passively creating platonic concepts. And Mundus is like a reflection of those above it. So these beings transcend that. Which, like I said, that's the realm. One of those realms would include Molag Ball's Cold Harbor. Um, so they pass through Mundus, and they arrive there. Not only that, the fucking snow whale blitzes Molag Ball's Daedric guards. It's it's actually stated they were not able to even react to him. Um, I can get you that scan. One sec. Here you go. And he was actually breaking a bunch of uh Bullock Ball's shit in his courtyard. Um yeah. and then he blitzes the guards. They it literally states they were not able to react. Um and incapacitates them immediately. Or doesn't incapacitate so, uh, throw snow on them. Yeah, it didn't capacitate them. They couldn't do anything. Okay, okay. And so, um, 
that would immediately – I mean, I'm pretty sure those Daedric guards alone are above Gwimple, where you can argue they aren't. But, I mean, he incapacitated them no diff and blitzed them no diff. Um, so, we yeah, don't see Gwimple doing anything. Because the, the dimensions of a comic book, dimensions of the story, those are concepts within themselves, uh, which would be transcended by Mundus. So It's just a whale, yeah. Skinny. Skinny, it's just a whale. It is just a whale. It's just a whale. No, it's no what I'm like. All right. So what? So I got this scan here. Uh, I was reading this thing because, again, I do my homework. And it, it was at the beginning, and it says that there are like the, the realm that they were chilling in or whatever like you mentioned, right? The Oblivion, right? Mm -hmm. It says the, 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 there's a limit of 16 uh, countless avenues from one realm to another, they change, yada, yada, yada. So, is that the realm which you're referring to this wet whale as existing in? Cold Harbor? That is the yeah. realm he traveled to. Okay, so, so this is not enough then. So, me and a buddy did some, me and my buddy did some, some calcs, right? Now, assuming that the, these realms go off of a uh, out of uh, the first realm that is. Is out of versa, which I assume it is, right? Yes. Uh, that would be infinite, right? Because there's crap ton of these things. There's no limit to them. Times inaccessible because they all transcend each other to the 16th power. It would, no. Right? Because they're, they're already outside of those concepts. Yeah. That's why we got inaccessible, right? No. It's irrelevant. Irrelevant. Irrelevant speed. No, not not speed in terms of like the distance between each other, like you know, like, like limbo. Yeah, it's the a, there's it. You can't count the distance. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, you can't do calcs on that because there, there's no number. All right, there's not. Uh, okay. Crap. All right. Well, in that case, what I'm going to go with is since there's 16 of these. <sighs> because to, to, just to explain for people that might not know. I think you get it, but um, for people that are watch, basically, when you are above concepts such as feet, uh, yards, meters, uh, the height, that kind of stuff, you don't, you you can't measure it. So there's actually it would it's beyond measurement. That's what I'm explaining, just for yeah. the viewers. Pretty sure yeah, Skinny understands, but yeah, yeah. we went off of power. Yep. All right then. I guess what I have, what I pull off my hat trick is <sighs> my hat trick. So what I'm going to go for is, is this whale, does this whale abide to the plot? Huh? Is this whale abide to like the plot? Like, is it bound to the plot? No. There's, no. I don't, <laughs> there would it be a plot within the versus battle anyway. Like is like does this whale like does this whale ever show him breaking the plot? Like does it ever mess with the author or something? Well, it, it messed with the character that it um, eats with the concepts. Author, writer, it, it, it eats with stuff. it messes with a character that eats duality, eats concepts within the story. So it doesn't mess with the writer, you know, or anything like that. Mm, not that I'm aware of. All right, so. Time for the highest of high tier, right? So Wimple, I already demonstrated her as being able to neg her rider and do whatever the heck she wants, giving her plot minute. More than that, uh, she's able to mess with uh, characters like me and you. Uh, so what they like to do sometimes at the end of all her comics is they'll have like little Q&A junk, right? Where she responds to them all. And one of them says, uh, <laughs> she says, can you put me in the book? And she says, voila, you're in the book now. I'm I am powerful at this dimension hopping thing now, aren't I? But more so, not only being able to interact with beings like you and I and whatnot is what I'm going to stress is plot manip and the ability to, to warp the literal story. So if you don't know, so there was, a, I'm sure you know about it, there was a trash Doctor Doom uh, arc or whatever where he was like a good guy and she was trying to kill Doctor Doom to like make herself be beyond the Avengers, right? Well, mm -hmm. Dr. Doom was a good guy at this time, so she's like, you know, screw that. And so she takes this big sword and cuts his literal story out of him to where the writer of the story had to draw in 
uh, evil, evil, um, the, the, what's it called? The old Dr. Doom, the one that me and you know, for her to fight. So that way she'd stop screwing. Like, there's, the, there's all of his pages leaking out of his body, and there's evil Dr. Doom coming out to face her. And in terms of BFR, she's capable of, being, of, of surviving outside of her own literal story. Like, not, not reality, not anything. Like, the literal comic, like, the comic book that me and you read. She's capable of chilling outside of that, and she can throw people outside of it, too. So while I can't overpower this whale, I'm going to say she either cuts out this thing's story or tosses him outside of the story. Okay, well, that wouldn't work because it's faster than her. Um, she doesn't have any demonstration of irrelevant speed. She's able to bypass the comic book round. She's like, she, she jumps out of it. Okay. She'll say bye, and she just, she just leaves the books. Okay, well, I would just say my character has a higher grade of irrelevant speed because he passed through um, the platonic concept realm. Okay, so then I bring up what I like to call the snitches argument. So Gwenpool mm -hmm. has, like, scouts. Uh, so I've uh -huh. already demonstrated her, her ability to, I almost said metaphysicality. You can kind of argue that, but I brought up her 40 stuff. So she's able, and I already brought up her ability to mess with other hers, right? So here's her. Mm -hmm. She's literally flying through. So here's you wanted a measurable or whatever right here. Um, the past and futures are intertwining. It's all mm -hmm. folding in on me at once. Yada, yada, yada. So she's capable of going whenever she wants, wherever she wants. In all of Marvel, any, any comic, any issue, any. This is how she gets to things like the Defenders. I don't know if you read that. Or the West Coast Avengers. And I don't know if you read those, but. She like she'll hop into those comics and be and just kind of self insert herself. Like in the West Coast Avengers, um, girl Hawkeye was looking for uh, tryouts, and she just pops up like, "Hey, let's hang out." And she's like, "Gwen, perfect, you're on my team." She's like, "Okay." Um, so there's your feet that you're asking for, but more specifically, you got your irrelevant speed feet. But more more than that, you've got all these Gwens, all these Gwens. They're the same Gwenpool. They and they base and they, I wouldn't say they share a mind. They kind of do because they're all her. They're all like little munchkins. And for the snitch part, so if you look in this scan right here, which is taking forever to load, basically she sends in a um, she sends in like she'll she'll take a Gwenpool. All right, so the snitch, this whale's about to clap her or whatever. I don't even know if she if you can take on one at this point, but she'll send off another one. To either warn or summon more, so she'll just summon just like infinite Gwenpools, more and more Gwenpools, and those Gwenpools will make it's like a shadow clone thing, except just more, and more, and more, and they'll all just cut out its story or toss it out of its story. Okay, as you can see there, it says, uh, "Ignore me if someone is reading this. You'll see what happens in a bit." Okay. Well, also the snow whale, um, his actions are actually were not in the story. It was taken out of the story. So, like he he did things that the story didn't know about. It had to be introduced in another. Story. Like where? So that answers your narrative plot thing. Um, like, like the fact that you can see the dirt and you can see the reflection of the snow whale up in the sky because of it. That was not known unless you you have to read this. Yeah, so that's part of the everyone story. within the story, everything within the plot, the snow whale affects it outside of that. But does she like? So, are you saying he exists outside of his story, or what? So the plot doesn't matter to the snow whale. Okay, but he still is in a story. Not forget the plot, the actual story. Well, see, if you want to get technical, there you can't demonstrate Gwenpool actually leaving Marvel. What do you mean? I would say she's bound within the concept of Marvel Comics. But she's out, like, I'm not saying the... Pl the, the and, uh, and we're not fighting in Marvel Comics, so I would just argue her power is useless outside of her own um, realm of Marvel Comics. Okay, okay. But how does, how does the dirt thing correlate to being outside of the narrative? 
So you are unable to know the the narrator and the plot does not tell you this. You have to find um, the seven the seven battles book, and then it'll say, "Oh, by the way, because you couldn't know, know this, prior, um, the snow whale is the cause of this." And then you oh, are then able to the see. Writer's it. doing though, like that's the writer, like this, like Wimpool says, basically gives her writer the thumbs down and does whatever she wants. It has to be another writer that comes in and do, does it. It wasn't the same. Well, either writer. way, he's confounded to a writer. Then, if not one, then the other. No, it's not. No, he's not. Like you're confusing me. So because so I a writer know... still wrote the story. Hold on, a writer still wrote the story of Gwimpool, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So that's the same thing. So someone just whale someone ended up writing kinda, about what the snow whale did. So the whale did something that I could not know as a reader. And the writer didn't know either, right? That's what we would assume. We would assume. Yeah, because like like we I said, assume. your your Gwen power, it's not demonstrated to work outside of Marvel, so she can't even leave her own realm. So when she gets put in a neutral yeah. verse, she kind of gets shit stomped by the whale. Yeah, that is true. And it's not really, and I would also argue it's a it's a hack. It's not actual speed. So she would actually just get speed blitzed. Yeah, okay. This is a neutral. Okay. Okay. Also, yeah. um the Daedric Prince Molag Vol. Um who was actually at one point threatened to consume uh, Mundus and then Niren in its entirety with, um, a, it was called, uh, what was it? Sp Spirit Melt, Plain Melt, uh, which was said uh -huh. to be the same as the Oblivion Crisis. Um, he's casually going to do that. And uh, Molag Ball had to actively defend against the Snow Whale. But we didn't. He looked yeah, at him and did. laughed. He's like, nothing can make me laugh. And then they had to, he basically had to threaten him with, I'll just take my kind and leave. He got, he got, no, what I'm saying is he got tagged and he said, I have, I have an active defense. Oh, because... yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, then. Yeah, that's it then. Yeah, so, um, Snow Whale's clap for the, People at home, there is there is a meme about the mud crab um, being out of versal, which I'll actually probably cover down the line in a video. But sadly, um, there, is an, <laughs> there is an argument. So, um, uh, I, like I'll say at one point, there's the, in the game the mud crab resists the thum, which manipulates truth itself, and it says the fucking snow crab, the mud crab resists, like it can't be hurt. <laughs> Wait, so, wait, yeah. wait, wait, what? So wait, so, yeah, we have mud... universal mud crabs now? Yeah, oh, I, so this, Elder was, Scrolls, this was, yeah, this was kind of um, to build hype for me eventually doing Elder Scroll videos. But anyways, Skinny, thank you for coming on to debate. Yeah, no problem. Um, shout out to Gwen Poole, she tried her hardest. Uh, interesting scaling, though. I haven't heard that scaling before. Yeah, um, I'm trying to make like new Marvel meta with this, because she easily scales above Oblivion. Yeah, you're gonna get some shit for saying that, but anyways, oh, oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah th thanks for watching. Um, go check out Skinny's channel, I'll link it, and uh, I'll see y'all later.